Hey guys, it's another day, it's another haul. I've just transferred to a haul channel basically. I'm sorry, I can't stop buying clothes. I mean, hey, it works out for you because if you have any questions about a company and their clothes, then you can just watch all my haul videos and see if it's worth it or not. So today I have an H&M haul for you guys. Here's all the stuff from H&M. This is just a romper haul honestly. So a girl came into my store not too long ago. She was wearing the cutest yellow romper and I was like, oh my god, where'd you get that? And she was like, oh, I think I got it from H&M and it had pockets and everything and I was like, girl, I need to go to H&M and shop. And I just, I'm never at the mall that has H&M in it. I was like, you know, it's fine. Let's just go online and check out the rompers. So I typed in rompers on H&M's website. I was scrolling through so many of them and I was just in love with so many different styles. Like each style they have has so many different colors. So if you don't like the color I picked out, they definitely have more. So it was like, oh my God, why, why did I not know how many rompers H&M has? Because I wear them all the time. And so I was like, okay, I, I need to snatch this up. That's why this haul is here today. I know you guys are here for the haul, so let's just get on into it. The first item I have is this Stranger Things t-shirt. This is the only top that I got that's not a romper. This is the only top that I have in this haul. And of course, I had to get a Stranger Things t-shirt. I love Stranger Things. This t-shirt is so freaking soft. It's like that, that kind of like stretchy material. It's super comfy. I really love this and I'm gonna wear it all the time. I already know, I really love it. It's so cute. And I really liked that they had Stranger Things in black because I mean, I like the red ones, don't get me wrong, but like this is more neutral and more my thing. This is great. I love this. It fits super comfortably. I have an extra small. This t-shirt, I'm gonna give a big thumbs up because I already know it, I'm gonna be living in it basically. I love Stranger Things. It's one of my favorite TV shows. I've watched a couple episodes of season three so far. I'm trying to pace myself because I always get so like frustrated when it's over and I'm like, I have to wait a year. It just drives me crazy. I highly recommend if you love Stranger Things, buy this one from H&M. This first romper is the Stranger Things romper. They have a whole collab and they have like a bathing suit and some other stuff. The bathing suit wasn't really my style. I really loved the pattern of it, but the style it was, I just don't personally like that style. So I decided not to get that one, but I had to get the romper. And I'm really happy I did because this one is so cute and so comfortable. It has pockets, it has adjustable straps, it has everything I love in a romper. Like, why did I not shop at H&M like this before? I'm falling in love all over again. I used to shop at H&M like all the time when they first opened at that mall. Now I kind of want to go there more because of H&M. I really love this romper. This is so cute. And I don't know if you guys can see, but like these little flowers are like the demigorgon head. Like the demigorgon mouth, like you know when it opens up. That's what this is. That's so cool. I think that's awesome how they like incorporated that with this romper because it looks just like a flower. If you don't know Stranger Things, you wouldn't know. But if you watch Stranger Things, then you know, you know? I just love that. I think this is so creative and I absolutely love it. It's a big thumbs up. So I don't really know how I feel about this one. I feel like it's an in between because it's honestly the top part is super cute the way like the straps are. If you guys watched my Fashion Nova haul, it's just like the romper that's in that except for this one's not soft compared to it. It's like an okay fabric. It's just like not as soft. It's like a paper bag with a string that you can tie up. So like I like the trend but I'm also kind of like I don't know if this is worth it or not. It's so confusing because it looks so cute right here like just from what you see in the video right now it looks super cute but like fully, there's no pockets in it. There's no adjustable straps, which it doesn't need. It's like perfect for me. I feel like this would be cuter as a dress. I think it's really cute. So I'm gonna give it like the middle thumb. I just feel like this one's gonna get kind of wrinkled. Like it already is wrinkled and I feel like that's kind of gonna be hard to deal with. Right here, can you see the wrinkles that's in it already? And then I don't know if that's gonna come out. It's a good comfy romper. A lot of the stuff that I get, I look for stuff that I could wear to photo shoots easily and that they're gonna be super comfortable and cute and fashionable. 
and this one's just not it for me it's still cute and if it's your style you should definitely get it because it's a nice one i'm not gonna lie it's cute i just don't know personally how i feel about it so this romper is the same as the last one just this one is in mauve and I really liked this color, so I thought I would try it out. I don't really know how I feel about it. When I looked at it online, I thought it was more of a pinky mauve, like a nude mauve, and not really a purple. I'm a little bit disappointed in the color. I don't really know if this color goes with my skin tone very well. I feel like this one just kind of like brings it down where the yellow really complemented my skin tone. I think this one's gonna be a middle one too. I feel like I'm more likely to keep the yellow one compared to this one. It's not horrible. It's definitely not a thumbs down. I just don't know if it's me. So this one, again, I'm like in the middle. I was honestly super excited about this one, but this is an extra small and it's kind of long on me. I wasn't expecting that. If anything, I was expecting it to be too short on me. This one's like really long, like it's almost dress long. I really like it. I just don't know how I feel about that. It just kind of throws me off, but I really like the pattern. I love roses and I love white and pink, so I feel like this one just looks cute. I think I like it, so I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. It's like in the middle, but like more towards thumbs up. So here's the scale and here's it going. It's going up, but it's in the middle still. This one has adjustable straps. It has pockets. So it has my two big checks in there. It's also super comfortable. It's a nice material. It's not like the softest material you've ever felt, but it is comfortable. And it has an elastic band like right here so that it can flatter yourself because otherwise, again, it's gonna just look like a paper bag like those last ones that I was wearing. I think one of the things that's throwing me off is that there's so much like right here. I feel like the straps could have been a little bit longer like that instead of being so big right there because I feel like that just makes it look kind of weird. So if it were like more heart shaped instead of V, then I feel like it would have been better. So this one, I'm actually pleasantly surprised by it. I thought I wouldn't really like this one, but I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I haven't really had a long sleeve romper. All of the ones that I've tried on haven't been good. So I just kind of assumed this one's probably gonna be a flop. It's not gonna work, but let's try it anyways. And I'm actually very pleasantly surprised by it. It fits me really nicely. This is what I meant by the other one was too long. If I put a side by side, this one's like so much shorter than the other one and it fits like perfectly. Like it still covers my butt fully. I really like it though. The material is a nice material. It's a pretty soft material. This one's kind of different than all of the other materials I felt. I really like it and the sleeves are kind of like belled and I like that they have the little elastic-y part because my arms are kind of short. And so it makes it nice for them to just kind of like puff like that. And I just think it's so cute and like princessy. And the colors of it, this reminds me of something Belle would wear while she's out shopping, I guess. I don't know what princesses do. <laughs> That's just the kind of vibe I see it as. I really like it. It's super cute and very comfortable. And I think this will be perfect for like fall. You know, sometimes it's a little chilly out, but it's still pretty warm, so then this is perfect for that, and I love that. I'm gonna give it a giant thumbs up. Okay, I was really, really excited about this romper, and it's squeezing me to death right now. I was so excited about this romper, I saw it, and I was like, eh, I might not like it when I get it. And then I got it, I opened up the package, I saw this one, and I was like, oh, that's so cute. I'm so excited for it. And then I start trying to try it on. First off, I didn't unbutton anything, I didn't unzip anything. I tried putting it on and it wouldn't go over my thighs. So then I was like, okay, that's weird. So I started unbuttoning the buttons because I was like, okay, that must be the only thing I need to do. So I unbuttoned all of them and I still couldn't get it on. I was like, what's going on? So then I take it off and I'm just like, okay, well, guess this is gonna get a horrible review because I can't even put it on. And then I saw that there's a zipper, so then I tried the zipper out. The zipper definitely helped, but I can't button the last button. I was trying so hard and I can't get it. So I was like, you know what? It's fine. We're just not gonna button that last button. I'm gonna definitely need to size up on this. I got a zero because that's my size in pants. Apparently it's not my size in a romper. This is way too tight. I can't even like move. The straps aren't even adjustable, so they're super tight on me, which never happens. Overall, this one's a flop. Like it's not go doing good, but also probably my fault because I should have gotten a two. In my defense, I looked at the size guide 
and I like typed in all my info and it did say to get a zero. This one's not working out for me. I'm gonna give it a thumbs down. If you keep up with my blogs, if I take this back and I end up getting another size in it, I'll let you guys know if it works. I'm very pleasantly surprised with this romper. A couple of years back, I got a romper from Forever 21 that was just like this. And when I got it, it didn't fit my butt. It showed my, it showed my butt a lot. So I kept it just for a bathing suit cover up because it was super cheap. Like I got it on sales and it was last chance. The reason I couldn't take it back was because it was like last chance sale. So I couldn't even take it back and it didn't fit. And I was just like, you know what? Just use it as a swimsuit cover up. So that's what I've used it for for all these years. But I was really sad because it's super cute. I love the style. It's the surplus style. It's a wrap dress, but in a romper style, you know? So it has a little button here so that it keeps it intact, which I very much appreciate. I'm giving this one a big thumbs up because I love this and I'm I'm so happy that it's not, my butt's not falling out of it. That's all a girl can ask for, right? <laughs> this one has adjustable straps, so that's really great. It doesn't have pockets, sadly, but it's okay. Every now and then you just don't need a romper that has pockets. You can just carry a cute purse. I do really like this one. I don't know why, this one fits so much better than the white one with the roses. It's the exact same style but it fits better. I don't know if maybe it's just the straps needed adjusting on the other romper, but this one looks great. I'm loving it, giving it a thumbs up. I'm a big fan, I really like it. I'm very happy with it. This one, I I have such mixed feelings about. It is velvet. I'm not a fan of velvet, so I don't like the romper, but I love the style. Like. The bungee straps were the reason I wanted to buy it. It fits my neckline perfectly. I love that style on my neckline. I feel like it just really flatters me. The length of it is perfect, absolutely perfect. I don't know, I might end up keeping it because it looks so cute. So I'm so conflicted right now and I just, ah, me having a mental breakdown right now over a freaking velvet romper. We'll see if I keep it or not. It's still like in the middle, but it's leaning more towards up than down. So this romper is the exact same as the white one and the black one. So apparently I really liked the style when I was online shopping. I'm going to give this one basically the same rating as those two. It has pockets, it has adjustable straps. This one would be super cute to wear on a date. I feel like very classy looking. I love it. It's like a casual class. Yeah, I like that. It is a good romper. Highly recommend this style because obviously I bought a couple of them. There could be more. We're not even through the stack yet, so there might be more in there. So this one's another romper that I'm pleasantly surprised by. So there's some ups and downs to it. So the first thing, the feeling of this romper, I don't like. I don't like it. It's not soft. It's that kind of rough material. It's not itchy, but it's still bothering me type of feeling. I really like the style of it. The polka dots, so cute. The little ruffle, so cute. The buttons, so cute. I love that. The only thing is, again, it doesn't have pockets. It does have adjustable straps though, but the feeling. Overall though, it is really cute. If you don't mind fabrics, like if you're really like you can wear anything, then you should definitely go for it because it's so cute. Like I said, I thought there might be more in the stack and there is. There's another one. This one's just in a completely different pattern. I do like this one, but I'm not sure if I love it because I don't typically wear blue. It's just not always my color. This one, having it on, it's cute, but I don't know if it's like me. I'm gonna give it a middle thumb. I just don't really know if I'm gonna keep this one or not. It is cute. If you love blue, then this one would be perfect for you. I just don't really wear blue that much, so I don't know if I want to keep it or not. So this one honestly looks like it swallows me. It's not a very cute look. I was really excited for it because I like the whole straight across trend, but this one is just not flattering me and it's just too long. There's so much material and it's just not, not for me. So this one's definitely going back. Otherwise, it's a nice soft material. Like if this one does fit you, this one's a really nice material and it doesn't have adjustable straps but it does have pockets. I just, I really like the feeling of this one so I wish it worked but it, it's not, it's just not working out. <laughs> this one is another surplus romper and we all know how I love my lemon rompers so 
I'm I'm loving this. I still wish this one had pockets, but it's okay. It's still cute. I'm still gonna keep it. And at least has adjustable straps. So this one's a big thumbs up. It's not the softest material in the world, but it's a good material. I like it. I appreciate it. It's good. I'm a big fan of this romper. I really highly recommend it and super comfortable. So this romper, I really, really like. I like the whole style and everything and it fits very comfortably and it's very cute. It's a really cute style. I really like this one. It's not too long on me. It doesn't have pockets, but it has adjustable straps. It's a nice fabric. I really like it. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. That was all of the outfits. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Also, all of my social medias will be linked down below. So if you guys wanna follow, they will all be down there. I love you guys all so much and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.